Ali, thank you so much for being here. We are excited to have you. We, I mean, it's no secret. We have like a crush on all things Supret. So thank you for being here. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> well, this, the, the crush is growing because there's, there's way more stores. Um, we are the first stop at Supret. We went up to Ottawa. It seems like 20 years ago, but I'm pretty sure it was like two, even though a lot has happened in those two years. Um, <laughs> before we get into sort of Supret, your role there, and sort of how you think about um, in-store display, merchandising, those things, talk a little bit about your background, because I think that helps frame the conversation and why you know so much about what you do. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm actually new to the cannabis industry overall. Um, I've been with Superette, um coming up to my six months anniversary. Um, and I come from a apparel retail background. I worked in the fashion industry um, doing visual merchandising for pretty much the last 10 years across North America and opening um, large uh, apparel stores. <laughs> um, so this is all new to me. <laughs> you want to drop some names because we're going to creep you on LinkedIn no matter what. So you want to just share where, you, where you've been? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I worked as the district visual manager for Club Monaco. Um, I was in my role there for 10 years. And before that, I was a store manager for them. So I actually worked for the same company for 15 years. Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's, it, it, that's, that is a good lead in because <laughs> I think in our own minds, we can picture ourselves in a Club Monaco and actually like those that is one with a very strong in-store presence about how things yeah. appear to the consumer. I was just in one last week and like you get the feeling you are in a different environment than the store next to it. Like all those things really matter. Um, talk a little bit about how you bring that to Supret, but like how Supret thinks about like in-store display because it is unique, I think, in the cannabis space and really thought through. Yeah, for sure. I think we think about indoor display a tremendous amount. <laughs> um, we put so much detail into that. Uh, all of our graphics and props are done in-house. Um, so we make everything ourselves. Um, and again, like the amount of detail that goes into every single prop, every single label, if you really look at it, you're gonna see even like 420 grams or like little like rows worked into the label. Um, at Supra, we want to wow our customer when they come into our store. Um, and I think we make that statement through display. Um, and it's so fun listening to people's reactions the first time they come into a superette um, when I'm in store. Um, and you know you did your job when you hear that. <laughs> um, and, and, and that's actually a good, a good uh, uh, point because what we have seen, I think, uh, not in your case, <laughs> but what we've seen, like, there is a lot of the same, right? A lot of the same. The same. <laughs> feel very similar. And this, and walking into a superette feels different. And, and that difference is certainly part of the consumer experience, but from a corporate perspective, as you're thinking about the company, like obviously that's the goal, but have you seen it actually lends itself to people spending more time, people coming back, people well, buying more, like all those things? Yeah, for sure. Um, I honestly think of like display and visual merchandising as like a psychological, psychological thing. Um, if you kind of, tap in on all the five senses of somebody when they're in the space, they're going to spend more time um, and they're going to spend more money because of that. Um, so uh, through our displays, we want to create like fun, um, stigma free, inviting environments, because I think that's what cannabis should be. It shouldn't be transactional. You should come in and have a fun time and hang out and talk to our buds. Um, yeah. And leave happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, you leave happy and then you get happy. It's sort of a, exactly. it, it continues. <laughs> Talk a little bit about the consumer journey, like physical journey within the store, because each of the stores, well, well all the stores, you know, the thousand stores in Ontario, they're all obviously different, but uh, even each Supret is different because you enter through a different sort of part of the store. But think about how you think about placement within the store to, you know, engage people in different stages of their journey. And then sort of as they enter cash, like talk a little bit about the framework in which you think about that. Yeah, for sure. So again, like each of our stores is completely different. So when we go to design a new store, yes, we want to make sure it's super at, but it's different from the last. Um, so the journey for the customer, um, we don't vinyl any of our windows. We can see into our stores. Um, I think that's one thing that makes us different. Um, we create the front entrances or if you want to call them age gates. Um, they're heavily propped and telling the story of what that store is going to be like, whether it's deli inspired or bodega inspired, supermarket inspired. Um, 
And then once you've kind of gone through that and you've shown your ID, then you're coming into the space. Um, I really look at like horizon lines, what's the customer looking at first? I don't wanna create a confusing journey. Um, so we, well, one of our trademarks is our scent wall. Um, so we have these like flower walls where it's by strain and it's very interactive. You can smell the strain, you can look at it. So that's one shopping experience. Usually when you walk into our store, um, then you're hitting product, which we really merchandise to look lifestyle. I think we're a very lifestyle brand. Um, you come in to buy cannabis, but you're leaving with other things. <laughs> um, and then we have our light board. So that's the next thing that you're gonna hit along with our deli cases. So again, this is another visual aid to help sell cannabis. Um, so you can see what we're putting on special that week, um, all the new strains on the market. And again, that's helping our buds really like help with that interactive experience. Um, and then almost all of our stores have seating areas or areas to hang out and kind of like have those conversations and learn about our products. Yeah, I want to, uh, you see, there's a nugget in there, I'm using a, a cannabis uh, pun, but there's a nugget in there that I think is really important. And we've heard from retailers and from brands too, that the idea that giving buds, I'm going to use the word buds, the opportunity to talk about something very specifically, like, of course, there's the products themselves and there's the customers coming in, but like additional things to like drive a conversation, spark a conversation, like actually that is unique to the store is really important for the customer relationship, for retaining that customer, for making sure they come back. Like it, obviously that factors into it, but, but our bud tenders, I don't know if they've come from other places, but, but your buds find that a, a helpful tool to get engaged with that customer. I a hundred percent. So many conversations happen just from the displays or visual. They're commenting on what they saw at the front door. They're commenting on what's happening in the fridges because we don't put only drinks in the fridges. We put apparel in the fridges because why not? Um, <laughs> And we're creating so many of these visual aids through the store. And these are conversations that are able to be had. Um, all of our digital menus through the store look like vintage cigarette machines. So that's usually like a talking point as soon as someone comes in. Um, we have like a fixture, which we call the coffin case. I can't really tell you why, um, <laughs> but it's full of all vanity. So it's again, another visual aid. Cause I honestly feel people shop with their eyes um, as much as we might say we don't. Uh, so these are all things that the buds have to start these conversations. Um, and it's pretty amazing hearing some of the conversations because we have really great customer service. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that is, that is critical. But if, if it was just customer service on its own in a blank slate, it would feel like one thing when it's customer service and engaging in an environment that is engaging in itself visually, like it makes a huge difference. I would imagine it certainly has uh, from the folks that I've been to Supretz with because they actually feel like they're in something special, which I think is a lot about the visual merchandising, the physical layout. I think like it all goes hand in hand. Like we are very about engagement. We're about those customer relations. Um, and yes, we're building that through display, through merchandising and through the way that we, our buds are trained and how they work with these customers. Um, Cause we don't want to be transactional. It's not just to get you in and out of the door. We want you to come hang with us. <laughs> And that's how we design our stores. <laughs> well, that's why I like the folks in Sprex. I like to hang with them. And I'd be remiss if I didn't, I don't know what shoulder is your left shoulder, but the little ketchup, the ketchup. Oh yeah, we've got some samples behind us from our photo shoot. Yeah, I, I just saw those pop up in my Twitter feed and it's like, that is, that's smart. Like, I think they're called Medtainers, I think is what they're called. Like, yeah, we, we uh, partnered with Medtainers to our own branded stuff. Yeah, it's really great. I mean, it's all sort of part of the package. But Al, I want to thank you for spending time. Thank you for the work you do. I have many more superettes to, to make my rounds in Toronto and many more as well. Um, I don't know. Do you want to talk about ones that are about to crack open the door? Yeah, we are, the door is like half cracked right now at Stacked Market. We're opening in two days. I'm running back there after this call to finish that store. Well, that's great. Well, congratulations. That must be a big lift. I mean, it is a big lift and Stacked Market is like maybe the most perfect location for a Supret. I also noticed one on DuPont and Huron near, um, near DuPont and Davenport. The folks can find the one at um, near Trinity Bellwood, certainly the one on Wellington and Spadina, the one in um, Summerhill, the one in Ottawa, it just yeah. keeps, the train keeps rolling. You're busy. We got Junction coming up too. You're it's like Queen. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, yeah, right. The Queen and Ossington one, right. So <laughs> thank you uh, for, for spending a little bit of time. Good luck in the next coming day, days, weeks, because it's going to be a big one. You. But we really appreciate your time. Thanks, Allie. 
Thanks so much, Jay.